Hey what's up guys, it's Nate and today I just want to show you where you can find all of the Daedric Shrines in the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Alright guys, and for our first shrine we got the Shrine of Malakath. And it's going to be north of Anvil over here next to Lord Drad's estate. And if you see exactly where I'm at on the map, you'll be able to find it no problem at all. Alright guys, and our next Daedric Shrine is the Shrine of Clavicus Vile. And this is going to be found to the uh, southeast of the Imperial City along the Gold Road here. And it's going to be uh, to the southeast of the Walnut Inn. It's just going to be in this little loop type deal right here. So if you get in this area, you should find it on your compass and it'll be uh, pretty easy to find. Alright guys, and our next shrine is the Daedric Shrine of uh, Hercene. It's going to be found to the south uh, eastish of... Uh, the Imperial City along the, the Nibbani Valley and it's gonna be if you know where the Inn of Ill Omen if you're a Dark Brotherhood uh, guy you'll know where that's at or gal it's gonna be northeast of that and southwest or southeast of the Imperial City so just uh, come out this way it's to the left of the Inn in Nibbani so it should be pretty easy for you to find alright guys and our next shrine is the Shrine of Hermaeus Mora it's going to be found at the top of this mountain over here to the uh, west of Bruma, uh, right next to the uh, the Jural Mountains, uh, right next to the T and the Jural Mountains. So it's uh, actually pretty difficult to get to, so if you're going to try for this one, you're going to need to climb a mountain, and there's going to be a couple difficult creatures on your way up, so just be aware of that. Um, the closest thing I have found near it is Echo Cave. Alright guys, and our next Daedric Shrine is the Shrine of Namira. And now it's going to be found to the east of Bruma here. And if you'll see this little curve in the road, if you'll just go in the middle of it towards uh, the east, uh, you'll eventually find Namira's Shrine. It's to the southwest of Frostcrag Spire, if you know where that's at. Alright guys, and the next Daedric Shrine we've got is the Daedric Shrine of Mafala. Now this one's going to be found to the northeast of the Imperial City, and if you're going along the road here, she will be at the point right here on the road. It will be north of that, right under the E and the A and uh, the Heartlands. Alright guys, and our next shrine is the Shrine of Meridia. It's going to be found over here to the uh, west of Skingrad, uh, next to this Oblivion Gate. So if you just travel west, you should eventually see it on your compass, and you just travel straight there. Alright guys, and our next shrine is going to be the Shrine of Sanguine. Now it's going to be uh, near Skin uh, Skingrad as well, except it's going to be above the S here to the northwest of it, kind of. Um, so if you just look exactly where I'm at on the map, you'll be able to find it no problem at all. Alrighty guys, and moving on to our next Daedric Shrine, we've got the Shrine of Molag Bal. And it can be found in between Skingrad and the Imperial City um, to the northwest or northeast of Skingrad and then if you uh, travel east or uh, west of the Walnut Inn you'll eventually come across it it's right under the uh, T in the Great Forest um, so just look for that and you'll find uh, Molag Ball's Shrine. Alright guys and the next Daedric Shrine we've got is the Shrine of Periat or Periat uh, it's gonna be found to the east of Breville along the Silverfish River here and it's just going to be right before this little point in the river right here and just between the H and the R in the Silverfish River right here and it's going to be to the east of the Imperial Bridge Inn. Alright guys, and the next Daedric Shrine we've got is the Shrine of Sheagorath. It's going to be found to the north of Leowin along this road here uh, going up. It's going to be to the northwest of this little island here and then if you know where water's edge is at it's also going to be to the northwest of that and then it's uh south of Breville as well uh this little bend of the road if you just go to the southwest of that you'll find it all right guys the next daedric shrine is the shrine of azura now this one's going to be found uh north of chaden hall uh right above the inn and the t and county chaden hall um also to the north of lake Arius. Uh, right under the inn and mountains right here. Alright guys, and our next Daedric Shrine is the Shrine of Vermina. It's actually found to the southwest uh, of Chaden Hall, uh, next to Lake Popad or Popid. Um, 
near the Nibian Basin. So if you see this uh, little river here, it's going to be at the point of it, um, near the pond here, like actually right next to the pond, um, as you can see there. Alright guys, and our next Daedric Shrine is the Shrine of Boethia. Now this one's actually found to the southeast of Chaden Hall, along the, uh, the river here, and um, the Vallis Mountains. So if you know where uh, the uh, Fort Nassau is, or the Dark Fisher is, it's to the southeast of those. And it's going to be to the left of the M in the word Mountains over here. Alright guys, and the final shrine that we have is the Shrine of Nocturnal. It's going to be found um, actually to the southeast of the last shrine that we found, which is Sheagor's Shrine. It's going to be found near uh, County Leowin, uh, uh, to the left of the C and the L here, and to the right of Fisherman's Rock. As you can see, Leowin's right here. So you're just going to really just travel up the road from Leowin, and you'll come across this shrine pretty easily. So that's pretty much all I've got for today's video, guys. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if it helped you out, please leave a like and or subscribe. This is Nate, and I will see you in the next video.